Yes, and very patriotic, getting ready for the 4th of July. If you're trying to figure out what am I going to make for a dessert, Tracy and Paula from Simply Southern Specialties are here to help you out with that. Mm -hmm. And before we start, Tracy, your mama called a little while ago, and she said it's a very special day for you. Uh -oh. Happy birthday, <laughs> Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so it's good to have you here on Studio 10 on your birthday. We hope you have a good time. And we know you're going to show us how to cook something yummy. What is this all about? This is taking a trifle dessert that we normally make and um, customizing it in mason jars um, so that you can put a top on it, you can travel with it, take it anywhere you want to go, and um, basically put in it, you can put it in a solo cup, clear solo cups, festive, pretty, great for the 4th of July. Good idea. Now, Paula, what all have you added to your pot over here? We have done a quarter cup of sugar, mm -hmm. a quarter cup of lemon juice, and a quarter cup of water. Okay, and you're just gonna put this on low heat? Low heat, just until the sugar dissolves. All right, I like that you can put this in mason jars. This is a really good idea. Mm -hmm. So if you are headed to the beach, or you know, maybe if you're just having a picnic and you don't want the flies to get to your mm -hmm. stuff, keep it in the mason jar until you're ready to bring mm -hmm. it out. Very, very good idea. So about how long does this take to make? Real simple. Maybe quick and simple? 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Quick. Very nice. Mm -hmm. It takes like two minutes for the sugar to dissolve, and then you just move right on to your next step. So this is something you could make the morning you're about to go on your trip to the beach. Mm -hmm. You could do it the night before too, I'm sure. It's, yeah, you can you can put it in the refrigerator 30 minutes and let it chill before you get ready to go somewhere. Okay. Um, but it does have um, it does have whipping cream in it as well. So um, if you, wherever you're going, you need to kind of keep it cool. Okay, sounds good. So how long does this need to cook? Just just till melted. Just till, just till melted. that is melted. After you finish that step, um, then you come to your mixer. You're going to mix your um, your whipping cream, mm -hmm. your sugar, mm -hmm. and your cream cheese together. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is something I see you're not going to leave. You want to keep stirring it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't want it to burn. Okay, that's never good. All mm -hmm. right, so we're going to start putting things in the blender over here. Mm -hmm. And that cake is beautiful, too. Tell us about some of the things you guys do over at your restaurant. We, uh, we are a custom bakery. Or your bakery. Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm so used to saying we restaurant are. every day, your bakery. We are a custom bakery. We do all types of custom cakes, cupcakes, uh, all kind of sugar art. Mm -hmm. So um, there's nothing that we don't attempt one time. So <laughs> okay, I love if, it. If, if somebody wants to try something, we always attempt it. Okay, so if someone brings in a picture and says of like a cake, like this beautiful cake here, and says, I'd like to have this, you'll attempt. Yes, yes, we do. All right, All right. Mm -hmm. and yes, I'm sure do. it will turn out beautiful. Okay. All right, this looks like it's all melted. Mm -hmm. Very nice yeah. job there, Paula. Thanks. That's looking really good. And I smell the lemon. That smells great. And we use fresh lemon. Now, you can't lose, use lemon juice, but we uh, choose to squeeze our lemons, fresh okay. lemons. Okay. okay, what Paula is doing now. She is adding uh, 16 ounces of cream cheese. Mm -hmm. She is going to mix that and the sugar together okay. until it um, until it dissolves together. Okay. Go. All right. Mixing the sugar and the cream cheese. Now we'll get that all mixed up. And in the meantime, make sure that you grab this recipe. This is something you're going to want to make for all your friends and your family this 4th of July. You can get the recipe on the Studio 10 page on fox10tv.com. Very easy. When we come back, we'll have all that mixed up. Mm -hmm. And then what are we going to do after that? We're going to start layering in our mason jar. Sounds mm -hmm. like a plan. We'll do that in just a few minutes. Okay. Back in our kitchen set with the ladies from Simply Southern Specialties. And um, Tracy, it's your birthday? Yes, it is. Happy 21st birthday thank to you. you. We're thank very you, happy to have you. you here on your big 21st. And we're also talking about the big 4th of July coming up. Tell the folks what we're working on this morning. We are working on our berry <laughs> trifle. We have just finished in the mixer mixing our um, cream mixture. You mm -hmm. wanted to uh, beat it till it looked like whipping cream. Okay. All right. After we're finished with that, you can get you can buy pre-made angel food cake. Ooh, all right. You don't right. have to you don't have to make it homemade. Buy a pre-made one. We're going to take our simple syrup that mm -hmm. we just heated on the stove. We're going to brush uh, both sides of our. Both uh, sides, so you know it's good. Yes. Double the yes. size, double, double the, the flavor. Yes. Yes. Lots <laughs> of sweet. So we've taken that. Then mm -hmm. we are going to cut into one-inch cubes. Okay. And I tell you what, while you're doing that, tell the folks a little bit about Simply Southern Specialties. Where are you located? How can they find you? All that kind of good stuff. We are located in Citronelle. Mm -hmm. You can find us on Facebook at Simply Southern Specialties North Mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, we specialize in custom cakes, all types of custom cakes, birthdays, um, 
uh, specialize in wedding, custom wedding cakes. Yeah, and let's take a shot of this beautiful wedding cake that you brought with us here this morning. What are we looking at here? This looks fantastic. This is, uh, well, as you know, vintage lace is back for most brides. Mm -hmm. um, so, therefore, we tried to put uh, that I'm, concept. I, I can't lie. I didn't actually Oh, you didn't know that? that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm but sorry. okay. <laughs> well, it is back for most brides. So, what we did with this cake was we took... Um, like a, a wedding gown. We looked mm -hmm. at a wedding gown and decided that we wanted to make the cake, you know, look like that wedding gown. Very beautiful. So it has the buttons going down the back with the bow and the brooch. Mm -hmm. So that is, that's just a very popular design right now. So you have that and you said you have custom cakes as well. What do you mean by custom cakes? Anybody can call in with any sort of idea and you'll see what you can do? Yes, to a certain extent. To now. a certain to extent. To a certain extent. We've had a few requests that we had to refuse. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, we want to we want to keep it above board. So as long as they're appropriate requests, yes, you'll try your best. Okay. We will try our best. Yes, we try to um, do every. We have a buttercream specialist as well that mm -hmm. um, is very good with graphic design, and she can put just about anything on a cake and buttercream as well. Very. So cool. we offer fondant and buttercream. All right, sounds fantastic, and this looks great. So patriotic, getting ready for the fourth here. Red, white, and blue with what we're working on. Now, when we come back, what are we going to do to finish this up today? We are going to start layering in our mason jar. Layering then, in our mason jar. Yes, and then you get to try. Then we get to try it. Yeah. Always one of our favorite parts, yeah. guys. How about that forecast, Michael? We are back with the ladies from Simply Southern Specialties, and we are making a special tea this morning. Tell the folks what we're working on. We are working on our berry trifle in mason jars. And what we, uh, the step that we're taking now is actually layering our dessert in the mason jar. Mm -hmm. um, the recipe that I submitted requires uh, you to put blueberries in first. Uh, we love cream, lots of cream. Yes. So we start with cream <laughs> instead Sounds of blueberries. Good. So what we do is we start with a layer of cream, mm -hmm. spread that layer evenly across the bottom, mm -hmm. and then we put our cake cubes. Take our cake cubes, we put that above the cream, and the cubes have been glazed with? With our simple syrup there. Simple syrup, mm -hmm. all right. After that, we take our blueberries. We spread those evenly across the cake cubes. Doesn't that look like 4th of July right yes, there? Yes, it does. And then we put a dollop of our cream, or more than a dollop if you like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm cool with that more than one dollop. <laughs> And then we are going to garnish it with a strawberry. Look at that. And you actually have some finished products over yes, here as well. I snagged one of them. I'm going to take a small bite here. Whoops. <laughs> so I can still talk at the same time. But tell us one more time how the folks can visit you guys, find out what you do at Simply Southern Specialties. I'm sure after seeing this, they want to stop by and get some sweet goodness. Well, we are located in Citronelle, mm. uh, right on Highway 45. Mm -hmm. uh, you can follow us on Facebook, um, Simply Southern Specialties, North Mobile. Mm -hmm. Give us a call. We'll be glad to... Um, hook you up with anything. This Any cream type of is dessert. so good. Do you guys mind if I have another spoon? No, <laughs> go. All right, so I'm going to have some more of this. You can find the recipe online. Great idea for 4th of July or these ladies can help you out. And also, they do custom cakes, wedding cakes, a whole lot more as well. Thank you so much for both coming in Thank today. Thank you. And for offering us delicious treats. <laughs>